Now, some of the smallest towns are cleaning up from some of the biggest damage that the storm left behind. And tonight, more than 90% of Canterbury is in the dark. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Matthew Campbell is live there tonight. And Matthew, it could take a while before all of these people have their power back on. Yes, it could, Aaron and Mark. And you know, our team of meteorologists have been warning the towns in heavily wooded areas that this is going to be a problem. And I want to step out of the shot here and show you what we're looking at. You know, take a look at this branch here. It's not huge, right? But it snapped off of a tree. It came crashing down on power lines. And then here we are, 2,000 people without power in Canterbury. Now, this is just one of many examples here in town and neighboring Lisbon. There are a lot of trees in this part of the state. The already saturated ground offered really no resistance when Henri's most powerful wind started blowing through. And once off of Route 2, our drive here was all back roads and it was bumpy. You know, there's these very small branches and twigs just littering the road. And then we came up on bigger trees down and residents we talked with say it really took about 30 to 40 minutes to inflict all of this damage. You can go down the road and you see a tree, I mean, big tree across the road. I mean, Plainfield got one. Um, I mean, we, we lose power for nothing here. Mm -hmm. It's you know. easy for you guys to lose power. Yeah, I don't understand why, but we do. And you know, at one point, 94% of the town was in the dark. And we did see tree and power crews out on the roads tending to some of these problems. And at last check, Troop E says there are still 35 road closures between Voluntown and North Stonington. At the bottom of the hour, we are expected to hear directly from Eversource, and they might be able to address some of these concerns. For now, that is the latest live here in Canterbury. Matthew Campbell, Channel 3 News.